And hopefully now you can all see this lovely picture of the SS Bon Voyage as we embark on our cruise. Um, it's This is one of those spectacular sailings uh, from Bordeaux that uh, anyone who is enthusiastic about wine always comes home saying that was the trip. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about this particular voyage. Of course, we're very grateful. Um, it's called the Oregon Tempranillo Alliance Wine Cruise. But of course, your two wineries and our wine hosts are from Weisinger Family Winery and Avacella, um, who both produce Tempranillos. So we're going to let them talk about that in just a little bit. We're going to be sailing in May of 2023. So there is still time to plan. And we are on board the SS Bon Voyage, which I can't think of a more appropriate name for a river cruise ship, uh, especially one sailing in France. I wanted to make sure to tell you a little bit about who we are. Uh, Expedia Wine Club Cruises, we've been around for quite some time now. We are uh, undoubtedly the leader in wine cruises. And many times people hear our name Expedia and they think, oh, call center. We are definitely not. Um, this office is owned. I introduced one of the owners uh, earlier, Mr. Murphy. And uh, we're right here in Petaluma, California, Sonoma Wine Country. And we focus on wine cruises. And so we are, well, I should say I have an amazing team of people. There are wine crew specialists who will help you with your reservations. So it doesn't matter what you need, whether it be the air, the land, the cruise, the whole thing. We do it all soup to nuts. Uh, we're just real people that you get to talk to with lots of experience. So feel free to reach out to us with any questions that you have. Um, allow me to introduce myself. My name is KK Offrey. Uh, I'm fortunate to be the vice president of sales for Expedia Wine Club Cruises. For me, I get to talk about travel and wine. Life is a little bit rough, right? Uh, but somebody's got to do it. Uh, I'm joined here by someone who has equal a challenge in his position. Um, Matthew Coles is with Uniworld Boutique River Cruises. And uh, Matthew, of course, has traveled the world as I have. We've both been in the business for a really long time and can't wait to take you on this journey tonight. Very important, of course, we have our wine host. Um, so please say hello to Eric Weisinger from Weisinger Family Wines. Hey, Eric. Good evening and uh, cheers. Thank you for having me. Um, and I'm um, very excited about being in, in, involved in this cruise. This is actually uh, the second wine cruise that we've done. We did a cruise up the Rhine um, back in 2008. In fact, uh, there's one person here this evening who was on that cruise. Uh, Sharon, special hello to you. Good to see you again. Um, that was a fantastic cruise. It was actually the first wine cruise that we ever did. And um, it, it sounds like an exaggeration, but it really isn't. And uh, that is, it was the best vacation we ever had. I mean, it was just absolutely fantastic. And uh, we were hooked. So we're real thrilled to be involved in this one here. Oh, well, we're so glad that you are as well. And Gavin, are you there? I'm, I'm, I'm here. Hi, Welcome, everyone. Gavin. Yeah, I just uh, want to kind of echo what Eric's saying. I'm really excited about this cruise next May. Um, it's been quite some time since I've visited France, so I'm excited to visit Bordeaux, such a great wine region. And this will be the first wine cruise that I've participated in. I know Abacella, we've done several, and Earl and Hilda just rave about um, how great the trips are, so I'm excited to be able to experience that well, and, meet, and meet some meet some cl club members and spend a little bit more time with them. So, Absolutely, and that's one of the things that I love so much about these wine cruises is that they, um, as a passenger, we get to interact with our wine hosts, be with you for dinner and on shore excursions. It's it's a completely different experience. It's a lot of fun, and of course, there's great wine. <laughs> so let me talk to you a little bit about the itinerary for this particular cruise. Um, it's called Brilliant Bordeaux for a reason. Uh, you're going to see there that we are going to be on the Gorgon and the Dardon rivers. Um, and of course, it even goes out to the estuary. Uh, when you look at the map, you're going to notice that the estuary goes out to the ocean. Um, but this is a unique uh, wine region, fantastic itinerary. And we're going to take the time to go through it a little bit day by day. So um, we are going to start 
uh, leaving Bordeaux. The ship actually overnights in Bordeaux, and then we go on to Blaye and Bord sur Gironde. I'm going to totally mess up these names as we go through, <laughs> switching from English to French. Um, I try very hard not to, to overdo the French part. Um, but, you know, this is often called the Route de la Corniche Fleurie. Um, it's because you're going to see uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. You're going to visit the Citadel. Um, it's one of the citadels that once protected Bordeaux. It's very spectacular. Um, you know, the Medoc region abounds with prestigious wine chateaus with just miles of vineyards, uh, grapevines everywhere, stretching to infinity. Uh, Fort Medoc is one of the many things that we'll see. Unique to Uniworld is this oyster tasting and excursion they do to visit one of the several chateaus. Now, I know that Matthew was there with us. Um, Matthew, this is one of the chateaus that we were talking about earlier in Cadillac, isn't it? Absolutely, and it's stunning. And uh, they are much looking forward to welcoming uh, the Uniworld guests. And uh, this is a very unique experience, and all of the oysters are fresh, fresh, fresh. Oh, they're fresh and lovely. And you actually get to go and, and see the fortress and you'll have an opportunity uh, to visit the Chateau Royal um, Casanouvre. I understand that it's pronounced. And then you get to have a tasting with the owner of the Sauternes from the region. They're very, very well known right there in the reception hall to uh, of the Citadel of the fortress. You get to have this lovely reception. Um, I should mention that all of these excursions that we'll talk about are all included. Mm -hmm. That's part of what makes Uniworld so unique is the fact that all of these excursions are included. Of course, we're going to one of my favorite places in the world, saint Emilion. Um, you're going to actually go there from Libourne. Um, that's your base, and you visit the little town of saint Emilion. Uh, you can walk the cobblestone streets and take in the walking tour. There is even a wine tasting in the cellars of a Grand Cru estate there. And one of my favorite things to do in Libourne absolutely is a visit to the market. It is so brilliant. There's the live fresh seafood and the produce. And what's really interesting is later you're going to hear from Matthew as we talk about the cuisine on board the ship. It's very farm to table. So much of what you see is what you will taste, which is really, really fun. And Matthew and I were just talking about this earlier. This is like the ultimate. There's no visit to Bordeaux is complete without a visit to Cité du Vin, the famous wine museum with over 14,000 bottles. It's just a brilliant modern architecture marvel. Um, and you can see there that unique building. You can see the wine shop in there. Very, very modern, but absolutely fascinating. Matthew, I think this is what you said is the must do on this itinerary. Oh, absolutely. Every one of our Uniworld gets gets a complimentary admission to, I, uh, I, I, I ruined the name. You do it such, so well, KK. What, say it again. Oh, the Cité du Vin. Cité yes. du Vin. So if you look at the Cité du Vin, it, what does it remind you of? If Talk you about wine bottle. <laughs> hold your glass and you swirl. It's supposed to represent the swirl of the glass. Uh, the wine glass. Um, but as you go to the top, you're going to see how they make wine all around the world. And at, when you get to the top, there's a 360 degree panoramic view of the entire Bordeaux Valley. Wonderful. Wow. It's just simply brilliant. You know, and all of this, we are going to visit all these little towns every single day from your home away from home, which is, of course, the beautiful SS Bon Voyage. I, again, what a perfect name. I love that. Um, and this ship was completely reimagined just recently. So, Matthew, why don't you talk to us a little bit about the Bon Voyage and Uniworld? Well, I'd be happy to. As a matter of fact, this was the last crew, Uniworld cruise ship I was on for a full seven days prior to the pandemic. And uh, uh, October of 2019. And uh, when we take a ship and we transform her, we take the metal from the old ship to build this beautiful new ship. It is highly varnished Italian wood throughout. It is very yacht-like. It's just gorgeous. You're going to love it. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Well, you know, Uniworld is a very unique product in the sense that uh, not only are, I mean, the awards are numerous, uh, our guests come back again and again, so delighted both with, with the cuisine, the services over the top, but it's very, very all-inclusive. So can you talk to us a little bit about what we can expect to have included on our Uniworld adventure? You bet. We are, like KK said, we are the most awarded river cruise line in the business, and we are the most all-inclusive as well. Matter of fact, these are our five unique selling points with Uniworld. We're the most all-inclusive where everything's included. Your shore excursions, your um, uh, beverages, premium beverages, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later, and outstanding service that truly comes from the heart, as well as we modeled all of our ships after those beautiful boutique Red Carnation hotels that are located around the world. So we like to call them floating boutique hotels. So let's just talk about what's included with our all-inclusive cru cruise fare. First of all, you get the highest staff to guest ratio in the business. Remember, this ship is only around 100 passengers, 110, and we have about 50, 60 crew members on board. So it's basically two to one. All your gratuities are included on board with Uniworld. All your scheduled airport transfers, whether you're coming in um, on your own, you're buying your own airfare, you're buying with Uniworld, you're buying with Expedia, using your points. Airport transfers are always included. And if you get a suite, you get a butler with Uniworld. And our butlers are trained by the same company who trains Buckingham Palace butlers. So they're the real McCoy. We also have 24-hour room service and concierge service. So if you're jonesing for French fries at three in the morning, not a problem with Uniworld. Also, all of our food is farm to table, and I'll talk just a little bit more about that. And unlimited beverages, including your premium spirits, beer, regional wines. And when I talk about the wines, we're not going to be um, bringing Napa wines. We're going to be giving you the wonderful wines from, um, of course, the wineries that are going to be with us, as well as the wines from the region. Also, you get a choice of enticing shore excursions. You know, there's two, three, four different shore excursions in a day that you can choose from. And sometimes if you do the timing right, you can do more than one shore excursion. And then our onboard fitness. We know health is important to our customers. And therefore, we have state-of-the-art fitness centers and we have complimentary bikes on board. And what a great place to bike is in Bordeaux. Oh, my gosh. I, that's one of my favorite things to do in Bordeaux is to bike through the uh, the different wineries and chateaus. And then we have complimentary Wi-Fi. You're not paying $20 a day or $25 a day for Wi-Fi. It's always included whether you're on the top deck in your stateroom or in the lounge. And of course, all of your entertainment is included as well as the signature lectures. And people go, why do we want to listen to a lecture? But it's because we talk right before dinner in the lounge about what we're going to do the rest of the week so you can plan accordingly and sign up for what you'd like. That's awesome. And I know that they're so fluid. So we're going to kind of walk through some of the things that you just talked about because the service is so absolutely outstanding. The crew members are just so lovely. You mentioned also the farm to table cuisine. I'd love for you to, to point out a few more things about this because it you really bet. is the food is exceptional. So I have to tell you guys, you know what? Uh, food is at the heart of all of our passengers and we love farm to table food. All the food is locally sourced within 50 to 100 miles of where we cruise. You know that farmer's market that you're going to see? It won't be uncommon to see the chef off the ship actually picking out that produce for that evening's dinner. And we also have a uh, wonderful uh, gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan, traveling light menus. Uh, not a problem with you in the world. That's awesome. And I know that the experiences that you offer, um, we talk about shore excursions, but they truly are exclusive experiences, the ones that Uniworld offers. What makes them different? Oh, our, all of our experiences are very exclusive. As a matter of fact, um, uh, we go to some chateaus that are not open to the public, that are only open to Uniworld guests. So we've taken meticulous efforts to make sure that you have an exclusive experience that you can only get once with Uniworld. Well, and I just love that. I, I, I look at this picture and I say, I want to be there. I want to be one of those people walking in that vineyard right there. Now, we talk about the unlimited beverages and they're not just any beverages. You guys include some pretty nice liquors. 
You bet. When we include premium spirits, if you want Maker's Mark, Grey Goose, Kettle One, um, Bombay, it's totally up to you. You're not going to be drinking five o'clock vodka in Uniworld. And then, of course, the wines in the region we travel through. And, of course, the wonderful wines that the wineries are going to bring on board as well to do some wine pairing with those meals. So, and that's unlimited all day long. Um, no problem with Uniworld. All of your um, premium spirits, wines, regional beers are included. I love one of the ladies on a recent cruise. She said, one of my favorite parts was the bubbles with breakfast. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> now, we don't have to necessarily consume too much because we can stay fit while we're traveling. Um, you have this wellness on the water program. Absolutely. You know, wellness is very, very important to our customers. And uh, we talked about a citadel earlier that we're going to see. And um, our fitness instructors actually have a yoga session on the lawn of the citadel. It's a little <laughs> surprise that you'll be having. And uh, we also have um, uh, sw swimming pools. Matter of fact, this ship um, has a very big surprise. And I'll, I'll tell you about that in a little bit. But uh, we also have TRX classes, yoga classes. We have complimentary bikes on board the ship. And we even have spas. So if you want to take a spa, that's not a problem. And for those that are concerned about um, uh, their the menu, we have traveling light menus. And we also have excursions that you can be a little bit more active for those that want to make sure they stay in shape on their uh, cruise. I love that. Well, the SS Bon Voyage, just like all of your uh, hotels and ships, um, are all sourced with original pieces. I love the way, um, just knowing that Mrs. Tolman goes around and chooses these pieces. I love this picture because it kind of reflects the beautiful art that you have on board. So we're going to take a journey throughout the ship. So maybe you can highlight a few of those things for us. Yeah, you bet. As a matter of fact, you know, the Tolman family that owns Uniworld and the Trav Corp, Corporation, the travel family. Um, they keep their private art collection on board the Uniworld ships and in the Red Carnation Hotel. So it's not uncommon to stand next to a Picasso, a Van Gogh, an Andy Warhol, a Matisse, and you'll see some really great pieces of art on board the Bon Voyage. And let's see if you can spot out the uh, Van Goghs. Um, and then when you get to the salon to have a wonderful drink right before dinner or maybe meet um, some of your friends that you've met on board the ship, it's just gorgeous, the Salon Champagne. And then La Grande Fromage, this is our dining room. It is so beautiful. Um, they do such a fine job with uh, service and you'll never see a 99 cent Libby glass you'll be drinking out of it. It's always a fine piece of stemware with you in the world. I can't help but, but think of whoever thought of calling their restaurant the big cheese, but you know, I still think it's rather fun. I'll, I'll never forget it, but it is beautiful. And of course, uh, this is one of the evening views in Le Grand Fromage. Uh, it's just so stunning. Tell us about this room. Ah, oh, so this is a great place. This is La Bessere and it's on the front of the ship. And this is a great place to get a little snack or just have a little wine and cheese um, midday. It's a great relaxing area that you have a wonderful view, uh, just like the captain does. So you'll find that right in the front of our ship. And then the, here's Le Col du Bon. This is the private uh, dining area in the bottom of the uh, ship um, near the restaurant. And it, you, we do some wine pairing that we schedule throughout the ship as well. And I'm sure you guys will be having some private wine pairing as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful room and it's very private. It's excellent. It's a lot of fun. And I, th there's nothing quite like a wine cave. It's brilliant. And of course, you have this unique, beautiful space upstairs. The top deck, it's just amazing. You know, the um, the views, if you can see behind you, and I'm on the Bon Voyage right now, as a matter of fact, um, the views throughout Bordeaux Valley are just amazing. And you'll feel very comfortable on top of the ship. Matter of fact, there's a lot of people who just spend all of their time on the top of the ship because you watch Bordeaux go by as we cruise through the different locations. It's just gorgeous. It is quite stunning. So let's take a walk through the different types of accommodations. This, of course, being the grand suite on board, um, you're going to notice that there's uh, just exquisite bedding, the, the furniture, all of the styles. I love the fact that no two rooms ever look alike. 
And let me just tell you a little bit about every one of the staterooms. As a matter of fact, if you didn't know it, we have bedding from um, the uh, Savoir beds from England. They're the most comfortable, luxurious beds in the world. Every one of our Uniworld ships have Savoir beds from England in them. And uh, not only that, but the the thread count on our sheets are 1000 count Egyptian cotton, as well as we have, du it's very European style duvet, duvet covers. And then while we're looking at this suite, uh, you'll notice the, the wallpaper. The wallpaper is fabric, it's very soft, it's beautiful. And you're sleeping next to a Picasso if you're in the grand suite. That's a pencil Picasso back there. Wow, <laughs> wow. And of course, this is one of the, this is the grand suite bathroom with the double sinks and look at all that marble. And uh, as we were looking at this image earlier, someone said, oh, that's funny. They have the Uniworld logo. And I said, no, no, that's the TV that's in the mirror. Absolutely. There is uh, Apple TVs in all of the staterooms. And we also have fine amenities such as our mace and Osprey bath products. And what's also very unique about Uniworld, and this is a very luxury experience, no matter what uh, category stateroom you purchase, you step out of your shower into the heated marble floor. You grab a towel from the heated towel rack. Now that's a luxurious experience. I'm ready. I'm definitely ready. So this is, you're going to notice the difference in the sizes here a little bit. So this is one of the sweet areas. Please note that there's the French balcony. So the floor to ceiling doors that slide open and you can allow the, the lovely breeze to come in. You can experience the outdoors. The suite bathroom is very similar to what we saw in the grand suite. It's quite lovely. And we then go to the French balcony. Um, you'll notice again that the doors that can slide open uh, with the railings out there so that really your entire room uh, becomes part of the uh, room experience, the balcony just becomes all one. And then we have the deluxe room where we have the window that opens. And lastly, we have the classic rooms that are on the lower level. We lovingly call them the duck view. And uh, you have the two porthole windows that you can see out. But one thing stays consistent, of course, as you mentioned, Matthew, are these lovely bathrooms. So this is a great image of the, the bathrooms and the rest of the ship. Um, I don't know about you, but I find them a big deal. And you'll, and you'll notice in every one of these images, the flowers that you see weren't just for the photos. There's flowers everywhere on the ship, real flowers. They're not plastic, they're not uh, a silk, they're the real McCoy. And uh, it's a really special experience. It's like your own private yacht, it really is. <laughs> well, and you know what's funny is that many times we see these images and they're all so grand and so beautiful. And right away, I don't know, if I was seeing it for the first time, I remember thinking, oh, I'm going to have to dress formal. I'm going to have to get all dressed up. I'm not sure that that really suits what I'm looking for. And I love how this is actually very casual. So I saw that men sometimes wore a jacket, but ties were never required. There's no formal nights. It's a very comfortable, casual environment in this amazing, luxurious setting. That's absolutely right, KK. As a matter of fact, we like to call it country club casual or country club chic. Um, all we ask is that you don't wear shorts in the dining room for dinner. Lunch and breakfast are just fine, but not for dinner. And I don't think anybody does that anyway. But uh, yes, jackets are not required. Some men like to wear jackets, especially maybe for the uh, captain's night, um, but uh, it's not required. No ball gowns, leave them home. <laughs> there you go. Well, that makes it so easy. And of course, what makes this cruise absolutely brilliant is going to be the wine experiences that we have on board. So of course, you have, again, your two winery hosts. We have Abacella and Weisinger Family Wines. And there is going to be two in-depth wine tastings led by your winery hosts, as well as two exclusive wine pair dinners. And I would love to invite um, Eric and Gavin, if you're there, uh, I'd love for you to um, maybe talk a little bit about um, the experience that we might expect. Gavin, yeah, we could roast him though if you want to see him. Sure, Eric, go, yeah, go ahead. Okay, we'll do. We'll we'll go in alphabetical order by first names. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. First, again, we're really excited to be involved in this. Um, I had the good fortune of going to Bordeaux uh, for the very first time, uh, not on a cruise, but on just a wine tour back in 2020, uh, January, and uh, it was amazing uh, for a 
wine person, Bordeaux is is so central to everything. It is it's one of the regions that's sort of considered a foundational area, um, and uh, I loved it. So to have an opportunity to go to Bordeaux again um, and then to do it on a cruise, it's just like it's plus plus. Um, so you know we are. Um, this is a very organic process for us in a lot of ways. Uh, but the two events that we currently have planned, and, and who knows, there could be some other spontaneous ones that happen. I know that when we did the cruise up the Rhine, I think Sharon, who's who's with us this evening, will test with that. Uh, we did a lot of things that just weren't planned. Um, you know, spontaneous tastings and and all kinds of things. But um, we are going to, of course, showcase our Tempranillo, um, because this is a cruise that is supporting the Oregon Temper Tempranillo Alliance, but we're also going to be uh, bringing with us other wines, um, other Oregon wines, because we're wanting to promote Oregon as, as well. So um, there, I can promise you this, uh, the, the tastings and the pairings that we're going to put together are going to be incredible. Um, and so I don't want to uh, speak too much and, and um, uh, I want to give Gavin a little bit chance as well. So um, Gavin, it's yeah. yours. Thank, thanks, Eric. Yeah, you know, it's exciting um, to be in a region like Bordeaux, obviously uh, representing the Oregon Tempranillo Alliance in Abacella. There's certainly um, going to be a lot of Tempranillo tasted, I'm sure, throughout the week. And I'm very excited to, to share those wines. Um, but here in the Umpqua Valley, Southern Oregon, other parts of the state, you know, Bordeaux varieties do incredibly well. And we've, you know, in our 27 year history have had a lot of success with a number of Bordeaux varieties. So I'm planning to certainly bring some of those along to share so we can taste wines from Oregon that have uh, a connection to Bordeaux during the trip to both in dinners and tastings. So um, I think the sky is, is pretty uh, limitless in terms of what we can come up with to pour and, and come up with some really fun tastings um, during, the, during the trip. That's fantastic. The, well, they sound the, fantastic. If I, I'll just throw one more little thing. One of the things that I was thinking about just the other day is, um, you know, when we did, when I was in Bordeaux in 2020, uh, you know, we spent some time on the left bank where we we're tasting more Cabernets and the right bank, more sort of Merlots. Um, and, you know, one of the ideas I had is, is that maybe we do something like, like that, you know, where we're tasting Oregon Cabernet Franc and French Cabernet Franc, Oregon Merlot, French Merlot, really sort of showcasing the two regions. So there's just, a, as Gavin said, there's, there's really anything's possible, um, but I guarantee you it's, it's good to be a great time. Oh, it sounds fantastic. Well, I so appreciate you guys sharing that with us. Uh, we've been uh, very fortunate to um, host several of the Abacella wine cruises in the past, so we're looking forward to everyone getting a chance to uh, to come aboard together and support the Oregon wineries and uh, all the amazing wines from your region. What I'd like to do is I'd like to um, open this up to questions because I'm sure that while we have rattled on with lots of information, I'm sure that many of you have questions. Uh, before we do, I just want to take a chance to say um, if you have questions um, or you're interested in receiving additional information, make sure you either take a quick picture of this uh, screen or maybe jot down the telephone number because we want to make sure to answer anything uh, direct that you have. But lastly, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing um, this presentation so that we can see all your lovely faces again and encourage you all to uh, turn your cameras back on so that we can see you and hopefully answer some questions. I, I see there was a couple of them already there posted. Uh, let's see if I can get us started. I see one here that says, uh, Matthew, you said something about the pool. Aha, uh -huh. so guess what? You guys are in for a big surprise. We have something on the SS Bon Voyage that nobody has in any river cruise line in the world. We have an infinity pool. 
We are the first river cruise line to put an infinity pool on board the ship and it's heated. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It really is. And, you know, I, I don't think I mentioned that we also have a state of the art uh, workout uh, fitness center. Mm -hmm. And what a great thing to do is have a great little workout or take a little bike ride and then come back and jump in the pool. I mean, it's just wonderful. Sounds amazing. Sounds truly amazing. So um, are there any questions that anyone has uh, that you'd like to just pop? Uh, you can turn on your or turn off your mute and, and ask. You guys are all so quiet there. How much is it? I'm sorry. Say that again. I couldn't hear you. How much is it? Oh, the pricing. Uh, let me open that up. That's a great question. Hang on, because I should know these off the top of my head, and I don't. Uh, but I will in two seconds. Uh, let me quickly find out for you. And I can give you know, you KK's pulling that up. I wanted to just mention to everybody, you know, when it comes to Bordeaux, one of the thoughts that I had in my head before I got there is, gosh, Bordeaux is such an old, old, old city. It's just been around for thousands of years. And I thought it would be full of just little blue haired old ladies and old people with canes. Oh, my gosh. It's such a beautiful cosmopolitan city with uh, state of the art uh, tramways and railways and there's great shopping and it, it's That's a great it. little bistro. Oh, man, it's just amazing. I was so impressed. And the youth, there's so many young people that live in Bordeaux. It's just wonderful. Mm. Thank you. So to answer your question, the rates start at $38.99 per person. And keeping in mind that that's all inclusive. So that includes your transfers, your cruise, your meals, your excursions, your Wi-Fi, your gratuities. Uh, all the beverages, uh, the special wine program, everything. Um, and then, of course, uh, it ranges depending on which type of, of suite that you're that you're looking for. And then, Mark, I saw that you posted a question um, regarding insurance. And absolutely, uh, Mark asked, is there an insurance program or other remedy for emergency cancellations? Absolutely. Um, we actually have two insurance companies that we work with. Well, we have multiple, but two that we highly recommend. And so um, anyone who makes a reservation is automatically offered the insurance. And of course, um, it's tailored directly to you. So it's based on age and, and price. Um, but we highly, highly recommend insurance because heaven only knows. Right, life happens is what I like to say. Um, what is the arrival airport from the US? That's a great question. So we actually fly into Bordeaux. And there are many routes to get there. Um, right now, um, some of our groups that are traveling at the moment um, are uh, going through either Amsterdam or through Paris. There's really no nonstop flights into Bordeaux uh, from any US gateway, but uh, they all have very simple connections. So London, Frankfurt, Paris, Amsterdam, and Madrid are the ones that come to mind right away that are the most common. Um, but all, again, very, very easy. And there are some folks who like to stay before or after in Paris. And so the TGV, uh, the fast train, is also a fun option uh, just because we don't really have those experiences here in the States. So many people like to take that experience and do a little stopover in Paris. Um, are there any room levels that are no longer available is one of the questions. Um, I believe we actually have a little bit of everything. Uh, left. So um, so I think we're okay with all of the different uh, room levels. We got to um, book that royal suite. <laughs> that's right. There is a royal there's suite. There's only one of those. <laughs> it is, and it is still available. Um, someone asked, mention the onboard guest laundry. That's a great feature. Thank you for mentioning that. That is unique uh, to Uniworld that they have a guest, uh, guest laundry available at no cost. Um, and you're right. You spend a couple of extra days before or after it's a wonderful thing to have to just quickly be able to do a little laundry. Um, let me see if I'm answering some of these. Um, uh, Bob asked, with respect to the daily excursions, um, is there a competition for them? Is there a limit to the number of guests? I am very excited to tell you that all of the excursions are designed so that everyone who wants to can participate. 
And one of the things that I really enjoy is the fluidity of the excursions. So you don't have to confirm your excursions in advance. They assume that you want to take them. So they have plenty of guides. They have plenty of coaches, everything ready for you. So that if you even the day before suddenly get a whim and say, I didn't sign up for tomorrow, but now I want to go. You pop right down to the tour desk. And before you know it, you're confirmed for the tour. And I even had that experience that in the morning, I suddenly didn't quite feel as adventurous as I had the night before, maybe from all of that dancing. But I went up and said, is there a chance that I could change out which excursion? And they said, oh, not a problem here. Let me take that ticket. Let me give you a new one. You're going to be on coach A now instead of C. So it was wonderful. Or you're going to have guide A instead of C. Uh, lots of walking, uh, lots of great walking tours. Um, and they use those quiet boxes, which are fantastic because that means that, um, of course, you can go up to, I think it's like 60 feet away from your guide and still hear them. So you don't feel like you all have to be crowded around, uh, practically hugging one another to hear. Um, they're, they're really, it's really, really well done. You and then wear them when you bike too, KK. Like I did the bike excursions and I wore the Vox headset and I could hear my guide talk about every place we passed by. And, you know, there's an area in uh, Bordeaux that um, they actually worked on the ships when the Nazis tried to come in. And there was an area that they kept the ships. And that was very fascinating. Everybody looked at it, but they didn't know what it was. So I had the Vox headset and there you go. Yeah, they're pre-designed with, with the tours in mind, so they're great. Um, there's another question. Uh, Bob was asking, what is the price range for the different room sizes? It really does vary. There's um, there's a jump between the different ones. And so what I would like to recommend, Bob, is it'd be easier to just email you the link. So we do have a link that we can um, email to you, and it will have all the prices um, for all the different categories so that you can take a look at the different sizes, the locations, and the prices between them. And then Michelle uh, is asking, when is this happening and how long does the cruise last? Well, thank you. Great question. Um, when is this happening? This is for May 21st of 2023. And while that may feel a long way away, river cruises sell out really quickly because yeah. they are so small, right? So there's a limited number of guests. And of course, because this is an exclusive wine cruise, they tend to do very well. So uh, we highly encourage you to be thinking about it pretty soon. And the cruise is eight days, seven nights. So uh, it will be May 21st through the 28th of 2023. Let's see, did I? Oh. Um, oh, there's a question about vaccines and booster requirements for this cruise. Well, I can tell you what is required now um, because it's gotten very, very um, much easier. But this ship is currently still uh, requesting vaccination. All guests be vaccinated. Um, as we move into 23, we don't know what those restrictions are going to look like. Uh, so I, we know I at the can, moment. Oh, sorry, Matthew, maybe. You I it. can tell you today, France dropped everything. They don't, you don't have to uh, um, show anything. You don't have to show boosters, nothing. They just dropped it today. They do reserve the right to revisit that within a two month period. But um, just to let you know um, that are easing the restrictions because as we've all learned, it's something that we're living with. Yep, well, that's fantastic news, um, making it easier to travel and, um, and Bob, I'll see if I can post that link there. If not, we'll make sure to email it out to all of you who have signed up, who have registered. Um, we're going to email two things. We'll make sure that you get a link to this recording because this has all been recorded for you. And then as well as a link to um, the, um, the pricing and the information on the cruise. Um, and there's a question, does that include boarding the ship? Oh, the vaccination requirements, does that include boarding the ship? Well, I'm delighted to say that the cruise line adheres to the restrictions of the country that they are visiting. So right. whatever France will require, France will require that's what um, the cruise ship will require as well. Great questions. Um, other questions that you might have? Who's ready to go? Me, me. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's very exciting. Um, I have to say that there's nothing quite like a wine cruise. Um, 
you know, being traveling with fellow wine enthusiasts. And I think as Eric said before too, uh, once you've taken a wine cruise, uh, it's one of those experiences that you're just ready to do again. It's it's a lovely time. And you said, is it Sharon that was with you on the last wine cruise that's with us today? That is oh, correct. there you are. Hey, Sharon. So you're ready? Oh, you're muted, so we can't hear you. I know that's always a difficult, there you go. I'll tell you, the experience with Eric on the Rhine was so phenomenal that when I found out that we were gonna do this one again, I can't wait. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I love that idea of the spontaneous unplanned events. Uh, oh, it was up. great. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I mean, we never, ever had a minute that wasn't just beyond expectation. Well, that speaks highly. Okay, Eric, you're the one to cruise with. I heard I heard that now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we love spontaneous events, you know? Yeah. Um, wine's a very organic process. Uh, you really don't know how it's going to turn out. Really, from day to day, it's constantly changing, but it's exciting. But that's also how I think travel is, you know. And uh, so when you pair those two things to, together, it, you know, when we it's it's just an incredible ex, experience. Yep. It's true. We have a couple of other questions here. Um, Bob's asking, are gratuities included? Yes, they are. Uh, gratuities Absolutely. are included um, to all the crew staff for you. So there's no expectations there. Um, another question from Richard is, uh, will there be passengers on board who are not part of this program? At the moment, we have the full ship chartered. So um, as long as we fill the ship uh, by a certain deadline, we will keep it that way. Um, if we don't fill it, then we might add some other passengers. But um, at the moment, the goal is we'd like to be a whole group of Oregon wine enthusiasts. That would make it really fun. So make sure that you tell all your friends to come along too. That would make it even more fun. <laughs> You'll fill it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we generally do. So that's that's fantastic. I love these questions. Any other questions that you can think of? No, no. Well, here's the great news is that um, you always have the opportunity to ask more. So when you call the number, um, the 877-651-7447, the one that was on the screen earlier, um, and we're going to send you an email, again, with the link to the recording and the link to the website, um, you'll have access to any of the wine team. Some of them are on the screen today with us, um, but they are a great group of professionals and uh, very proud of them because they will help you with everything from end to end. Our goal is to make sure that from the moment you leave your door to the moment you return home that we've taken care of all the details. We try to make it easy for you and, and we love doing it because you know what's more fun than wine and travel. <laughs> exactly. Very and good. I must share with everybody on the screen that Expedia, this office is not new to this. They've been doing this. So they've got it down. And believe me, you should see the satisfaction ratings when these passengers come back from sh uh, cruises like this. They've got it down. They are the pros. So mm -hmm. if you're thinking about doing a wine cruise, um, this is a fantastic way to do it because they've got it down to an art. It is going to be so much fun. I'm jealous. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I love these last couple questions that I'll answer real quick. Uh, will the email include a link to looking at the rooms? Yes. When you go to our um, when you go to our wine cruise website uh, that we'll send you the link to, it's a private site that we have for our wine cruises. So we make it intentionally a little hard to find. Um, you're going to find that you'll see the detailed itinerary. You'll see the rates. You'll see pictures of all the different staterooms along with the pricing so that it's clear where they are. There's a deck plan there. Uh, we try to include as much as we can. But again, if you have additional questions, that's why I have a team ready for you at all times um, to, uh, to answer them. And then Richard, you were asking, what airlines do you book? We book any airline that you need us to. We will uh, make recommendations. We are very fortunate that we have, um, we have, of course, our Expedia contracts. We have consolidators that we work with. We have the airlines, I mean, the cruise lines contracts, um, as well as if you need uh, help with published air, you name it, we do it. Um, that's part of the experience that our team has to have to be on the wine team is to be able to help you with all of those things. So uh, yep, 
the world is our oyster. We're just ready to taste. Uh, let's see. Um, Wendy's asking for the dates again. Absolutely happy to share that, Wendy. Thank you. It's May the 21st through the 28th of 2023. So when you think of those dates, I just want to put this image of spring um, in your mind, because when I was there last uh, in Bordeaux in May, it was the most brilliant green I have ever seen. Uh, I loved the flowers. I loved everything in full uh, plumage. It was just lovely. So great time to be there. And before it gets too hot. All right. I think we've answered your questions. Going once, going twice. <laughs> well, again, Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Gavin, uh, for being with us. Uh, so excited to see both of you. Uh, thank you, Matthew, for sharing with us about Uniworld. And of course, thanks to all of you for taking the time to uh, spend your evening with us. Uh, we look forward to answering any questions that you have and hopefully to seeing you on board the Oregon Tempranillo Wine Alliance cruise. Thanks, everybody. Have a great evening. Thank you. Is that good?